All right, I'm not ready for you yet. I'm getting ready for you. I'm getting ready for you. I'm getting ready. So this is how it happens behind the scenes. <laughs> prep, prep, because I'm a pro. I'm a pro. <laughs> All right, Malika, get it together. Here we go. Oh, these are out of order. Ah! Ah, out of order. Here we go. <sighs> All right. Welcome back, singers. One of you lovely people had a question for me, and I'm going to answer it. And I'm going to answer it on an astrological level. Of course, I'm going to ruffle some feathers along the way, but guess what? Why not? <laughs> One of you asks, is Scorpio more stronger than Aries? Because I think Aries has the most infinite willpower and their strength and rage is probably more than a Scorpio. This was under my video, I believe, the strongest signs of the Zodiac or either the strongest um, women of the Zodiac, one of the two. So when we talk about Aries and Scorpio, we're talking about two completely different individuals, completely different um, intentions, and how we go about things in life. Yes, we both share Mars, but we use Mars differently, just like Pisces and Sag use Jupiter differently, just like um, Mercury is used differently by Gemini and by Virgo, right? So we talk about Aries, talking about very masculine energy, one of the most masculine uh, signs of the zodiac is exalted in the sun so it's they really project this very um extreme type of personality uh aries is the firstborn, so they're kind of like the baby and they really haven't learned anything yet so they're kind of like a walking ball of fire like i explained to you guys in previous videos you know they're very courageous they have they're fearless um you're most likely to see aries whether it be the sun moon rising or very um heavy mars in the chart involved in extreme sports and extreme sports are like bungee jumping you know, jumping out of planes, skateboarding off roofs, anything that get they get very, very excited very quickly. And because they're fire, they like to ignite, they like to excite, they kind of like get people going, they get people revved up. And they don't have a, a longevity. This is very, very quick. Fire is like quick and then it kind of burns out. And so when you're talking about a Scorpio, you're talking about water energy, energy just, just that kind of flows, energy that is very strong, but you can't see it. It's very subtle, like on the water, on the surface. Um, you're talking about a receptive feminine sign who receives. We, we, we know your energy before we approach. We don't just pounce on you. <laughs> we have a stream amount of patience. We're, we have two rulers, actually. And then when you talk about Mars, you know, um, Mars is the most aggressive planet. It's the planet of war. It's the planet of battle. It's the planet that gets you off your ass. It is the planet that wakes you up. It's it, it's your fight. It's your um, it's your it, it's your source of like how you attack the day, how you get things done, how you defend, right? But when you talk about Pluto, Pluto takes Mars to a whole other level, and so Mars is just here. Do you guys remember? I don't know what video it was many, many years ago. I told you guys that I've only driven a, a five speed in my life. I don't feel safe driving an automatic car. I've never had an automatic car. I've always had a five speed from my very first car to, I mean, I've been driven in over 20 years, but because I live in New York City, obviously. But I grew up in the suburbs and I always had a five speed car. And so when you think about Pluto and Mars, right? You think about a five-speed car. Mars can only get you to a certain level before it burns out. And this is how I think about Aries, right? Aries is, um, you know, they can only get to a certain level and they're like, ah, forget it. And then they're over it. Then they're on to something else because they have a very short attention span. But when you think about Scorpio, you think about so many different levels because we have Pluto, which is Mars to the next level. We can actually go, go beyond physical war 
like we're transformers we can break you down and because we're we're sensitive water we can break you down from the inside out so we don't have to really come out swinging because that's what Aries has their whole fight is physical their little their fight is physical literally it's not emotional it's not intense it's not deep it's ve it's a very surface like let's fight right now let me bulldoze this building let me do this but when you talk about Pluto is actually the mechanism of breaking down and then transforming so it's a it's on a whole other level <laughs> literally so when I talk about the five-speed car it's like Aries is like first gear and if any of you drive five speed, you know what I'm talking about. And you know when your car starts shaking that the, the first speed is up. It's like, we can't take you no further. And I think my car, the first speed took me to what, like 30, 40 miles. I don't know. I know I couldn't get on it, no freeway going in first gear. You'd, you'd burn your clutch. So you go to that first gear and it's like, eh, your car starts shaking. You go to second and second is going to get you to the, to the next level, right? And that's pretty much where Aries stops. <laughs> they stop at that next level. So for the person who said longevity, that's longevity is not a word you'll use to describe in Aries. They really don't have longevity. They're like children. Children have very little patience. They haven't learned. Patience is something you have to grow into. And they don't have it. They're the babies. So they are like wildfire. Like you have to hold their hand. You have to pull them back. You have to calm them down. You have to stand in front of them like this. You know, you have to push them away. They don't, they don't have that instinctively. They just go. They have the green light. So when you're talking about strength, if you're talking about physical, if you're saying, let's go to war, let's get guns, let's get knives, let's come out swinging, you know, let's just, you know, and even war. There's wars. I mean, how, you know, how many really fast wars do you know of in the history, in our history, in any history, wherever your country is? Some of you aren't from the U.S. Wars go on for years. You know, Aries doesn't have time for a five year war, but a Scorpio does. <laughs> oh, but a Scorpio does. We'll, we'll tire you, your ass out like you. It'll, you're still doing that year after year. Oh, yeah, we, we have we got Pluto. We have Pluto. We don't get tired. And so we talk about who's going to win. Win at what? Getting in a boxing ring? Getting in a boxing ring? Which, by the way, this, this, this makes me think of Mike Tyson because, I mean, he's one of the most fascinating boxers to watch. And you guys know I love sports. So I'll watch any sport, <laughs> any sport film, any sport documentary. And there was a time where I used to always watch Mike Tyson fights. Like, I'm, I'm always up for a Mike Tyson fight. Always. It's like no given moment where I'm like, nah, I don't feel like watching. I'm like, yeah, put him on. Um, just fascinating to watch. Now, he's a Cancer, but he has a Sagittarius moon. And he would, I mean, you put on the fight, it was over. You know, in his prime, he would just be knocking people out because... He didn't have the longevity. And once people started realizing, like, all I have to do is outlast, like, get to that seventh, eighth round, I can actually tackle his ass. But people would never do that. They, he, would, he was so fast. He was just, you know, with that fire energy, he was quick. And he knew that he wasn't going nine, ten rounds. He was like, oh, hell no. Let me just do this quick, get it over with, and I'm out of here. Now, you guys know that I'm a long-distance runner. I'm not the fastest person ever. I'm not. And I remember um, when I used to compete when I was younger, I remember um, a coach saying like, oh, I didn't really think you were going to be my top five or something, something stupid like that he said to me. And, um, you know, there were people who were very, very fast, but they can, I mean, they were at mile two or three, they were done. And I always thought like, this is cool like and I always think about this too like if somebody was chasing me and I was in danger I'm like okay I only have to be really fast <laughs> for a certain amount of time and then I can just I can just wear them out because I'm a long distance runner my body's used to it. I've been running since I was 13 years old long distance so ain't no killer gonna last 
three hour runs, honey. They're not. They're going to be fast and quick and jump on you. So I always think about that, like how much longevity do you have? And so when we talk about fights between Aries and, and, and Scorpio, who's strongest and this and that, Aries can't last very long. So if you're, I mean, you listen, maybe if you're talking about going in a boxing ring, sure, and they want to knock me out real quick, fine. But what if they can't knock me out real quick? <laughs> I mean, this whole thing is really silly, but I just wanted to, I want to, I want you guys to think about this in terms of zodiac signs and in terms of their elements. You know, when you got fire, you think about quick igniting things that get over very fast. They're, they don't last very long. These aren't long distance runners. And you can check for yourself, actually see who the top long distance runners are in the world. Um, the best, the best of the best. And they're not Aries. They're not. In fact, Scott Jurek is one of the best, um, and he's a sun and moon Scorpio like myself. We have longevity. We have the patience to really run for three hours. Like, nobody else is going to do that. Like, a fire sign wouldn't be They'd be like, no, I'm over it. You know, let's go. Let's go race. race. I mean, you'll be lucky if you get them through a mile. They're, they're sprinters. They're sprinters. Leos and Saturn, they're sprinters. They want to get shit over with quickly. They want to jump in your face quickly. They want to... Everything is fast. Everything is, let's do it. Let's do this. Everything is very aggressive and assertive. And then they're on to something else. Their brain can't last long. They're on to doing something else. And so, you know, it depends on what, what kind of fight you're talking about. If we're talking about a life fight where you got to go through your whole entire life, honey, <laughs> the Scorpio's got the time for that. <laughs> Anyway, guys, tell me what you think in the comments. Like, subscribe, share, and all that good stuff. I'll see you at scorpiosunscorpiomoon.com where you can book a master chart reading where I can break all this down for you. And then you won't have to put comments like this. You'll understand things better. You can get a one-on-one -on -one with me as well. And um, you can get a transformation course where we go through the 45-day uh, transformation that's in my book, Rise from the Ashes, The Scorpio's Guide to Self-Esteem and Rebirth. Um, speaking of which, you can get all my paperback and my audiobooks on the site. Um, as an appreciation for you guys who have sent me so many testimonials over the years, so many thank yous of how my books have helped you. A lot of you aren't even Scorpios and you are transforming your lives through my work. You're getting 30% uh, off the audio and paperback books by uh, using the code uh, book sale at checkout. So I have that for you guys. And what else is going on? I think that's it. I'm on Instagram, I'm on Facebook, and I'll see you soon. Mwah.